Okay, let's move now to mesh generation. So you have different geometries, so for no reason I will pick this space cranes one, but you're going to get the same results here or with the important one, okay? There is no difference. So I will pick this one, okay? And now at this point, so remember every now and then, save everything. And now let me uh, double click here and we're going to open the meshing tool. So it's going to import everything. Remember here, I put my name it selections but there is no difference. You cannot name it selections here, sorry, over here. So there is no difference. And let's wait while it's open the application. So see that it's going to start to import the geometry. Okay, so sometimes can take some time. So uh, do not be surprised that sometimes can take long time, like five minutes, if you have large geometries, okay? Large geometries are, it can be time consuming. This one is not that big, so it should be should be fast. So see that now you have the message here. And at this point, see that we have the geometry here, okay? So remember that when I created the geometry, also remember that it's very important to have one solid. So let me go back. So see here that in geometry, you have two different solids there or, 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 or parts there. So I forgot to, sup to suppress that geometry when, when, when I was in a space clean. So let me go back and reopen in here a space clean. So you can suppress that one directly in the geometry, but also you can suppress whatever you need directly here also in the meshing tool. So see here that you have this one. I forgot to suppress it all. I suppressed this one, but I forgot to suppress this one. Okay. So you can do it here and then you need to roll out everything, but also to suppress it there, here, it's also probably the easiest way. Right click, suppress body, and that's all. You don't have that body anymore. Okay, you have it here. So for instance, this one, you see that it's a solid gray. So you don't like that solid gray, you want something with transparency. Go there, put 05, and then you have your transparency there, okay? So now let's create the mesh. So remember, click here, always select here CFD, the, according to your physics, so we're doing CFD. You can reduce this dimension there, okay? And then let me insert a method, so select the whole body, and here, tetrahedrons is fine. So see that all the name is selections, you import it here, no problem here. And, okay, let me add also the sizing. Okay, so the sizing, you can scope in the whole domain, then the faces you want to grow in all. So actually I can, I, I can go in a selection, so it's easier. Control, select the two walls, and you apply that there, and you are done. Okay, so if I press now generate, let's see what we have. This is it, okay? So it's a quite nice, me nice mesh. You have all the boundary layer, everything. So remember, you can add more refinement here. So for instance, let me redo. And let me insert here a sizing. I want to add a surface sizing in those two fa faces and set this one to 0 0.5. Okay, so Probably it's a little bit large, so probably set up only two, but also let me add the curvature there. And I will say that the curvature, I will add an element, an element every eight degrees. Okay, so let's see what we have. So if I put here, probably zero, zero 0.5, okay, like that. Okay, so if I generate, now we should get something much finer here. And voila, there you see. Okay, so this is an element every five degrees. So it's here that the growth rate, okay, you have also the inflow of the growth rate. So it's the one you can increase this one and let's put here 1.05. Okay, so we're going to control it there, generate. And here, here you have your, your, your geometry, okay? So see that now better control on the growth rates. Nice mesh surface there. Okay, so if you want to reduce the, the size of the element, also feel free, okay? So I will use this mesh, okay? For me, this is okay. You have everything. Remember, 
repair overlap and see that nothing there. So this is okay. We can move now to the simulation stage. Okay. So let me close here. Okay. So you can choose different parameters. It's up to you. So here you have my solution. You can check what I put there. So at this point we can go and move to the simulation. Okay. So remember here you have the mesh. You need to convert it to fluent. Okay. So you put this one, right click, update. And now it will convert this mesh enhances meshing format will convert it to the fluent format. Okay. So depending also on the mesh, this might take a long time. So this mesh is a, it's not a, a large one. So it should be ready fast. Okay. So let's wait. So it's here that check mark it is okay. And now here you have the mesh everything done. Let me save. And if I click here, so remember also to know the, the, the location you click here in sys one. Okay. You have everything in flu one. Also, you will have this setup. So if you go back here, where you are working, you have your case here, my case I'm working here. So the PC design, see that you have sys one, you have the mesh there, but also you should have a folder. Okay. You have all the, Geometries. Okay. I, okay. I don't have the fluent. So, so far I need to run, but you have the geometry here. Okay. So the next video, we are going to launch now fluent in standalone model. Okay. I'm not going to launch it here. Let's move outside this. Okay. The, this interface. Okay. So that's all. See you next video. Thank you for, for your attention. Bye.